Hi Brewers, Daniel with MCH Australia Keg King. It's finally here. The big one has landed. The 70 liter Keg King Brewery Systems. So let's have a look at some of the changes that we've made and improvements to these systems that you're going to see in the 70 right away. Um, the first thing that you're going to notice is the lid. The lid is a new uh, central hole lid that's metal that will have a 47 millimeter hole in the center of it. This means that you can attach distillation equipment to it if you would so like to. Maybe you want to make distilled water or perfumes or something. I don't know, but you'll be able to do that with this because it already has built in power control. So that means that it's really easy to use for those kind of processes. Um, the lid itself is held down by some clips. The uh, clips, there are six of them around the top of the lid. And then of course, we've changed up the pump return on this. So the pump return, instead of having that rigid um, stainless steel pipe that we used to have, is now replaced by just a silicon tube that you can put wherever you like to when you are recirculating your wort. So a lot of brewers didn't like the rigid pump return arms of the older systems, the 40s and the 50s, and how they had to fit through the glass lid. So this makes it a lot easier. It's just an E-type cam lock fitting with a bit of silicone tubing to be able to get your wort to run around to the top of the mash bed. So you'll be still be able to control the, uh, the flow speed with a valve at the back here, which is what you want to do to be able to control how fast that flow rate from the pump back up over the top is actually moving. So let's have a look at what's happening inside these 70 liter systems. First thing you're going to notice is that we have changed that handle to have a contour in it so that you can lift with a pulley if you should so want to. But what you're going to find is you don't really need the pulley because we've uh, put a couple of extra feet down the side of the mash pipe so that you'll be able to sit and rest and allow the natural buoyancy to help you lift. So I'll show you how that works. That's the first step is about right there because you've got extra feet on it here. That's where the second step will be where you allow it to drain. The water level will help keep you um, or help assist you in lifting. And then the third one is all the way to the very top. So that's it. Actually, we've used this a couple of times and only one person needs to lift. It doesn't take a huge effort to, to pull this grain uh, pipe out. Now let's have a look inside this mash pipe because I really want to show you how, uh, how nice these things are built. Number one, you've got a telescoping um, overflow pipe. If you want to use it, you can. You can set it to whatever level you want for whatever grain size you have. The bottom screens on these are all locking screens. So there's no gap in between the lip of the mash pipe and the actual bottom screen itself. They fit into a crease at the bottom of this mash pipe at the bottom here. All the bottom screens on these are locking screens. So they have a bit of a crease on this one side and that fits into a crease at the bottom of the mash pipe itself. So what's cool about this is that if you decided that you weren't gonna do a huge batch, um, so you're going to wind up with three 19 liter kegs plus some extra beer if you want to. Um, you can just do single batch and you can adjust your overflow to the size of that batch. It actually extends quite a bit further than you actually need. And once that's in place, you can see that actually sticks up right out of the entire unit itself. So this is actually handy for when you're putting grains into the system. Um, you can cap the top of this and just add the grains and not worry about stuff going down the overflow pipe. So that's a really nice feature as well. Other features with this mash pipe that are really great are the fact that you have a sight glass now on the side of the kettle, which means when this is up in draining position, you can watch the water levels as they're coming up. So you can hit your pre-boil volumes every time. You'll be able to mark where exactly that is on the uh, sight glass, and then you'll be able to just run either sparge water through this or just bypass it all and just top up with water exactly to where you want it to be. But having the sight glass on there means that you don't have to try to peek and figure out what water volumes you're at. It'll be right there for you to see yourself. 
So these systems are 15 amp with 3000 watt element, which means that you're going to need a 15 amp socket to plug into for it. So if you don't have that, please install one before you get one of these systems so that you can use it right away. What you're going to wind up doing though, when you have the 15 amps is being able to cruise through your temperature ramps because it's going to have enough power to be able to speed through temperature rises and get you right to where you want to be resting in a multiple step mash. One of the other things about this system is that it does have a three year parts warranty like our 40 and 50 liter systems. So that's a parts warranty that you can rely on. So these systems come with all the accessories that come with the 40 and 50 liter systems. This has a larger immersion chiller with 16 coils, stainless steel, so that you can bring temps down quickly after you boil. It also comes with a hop spider and it comes with the ball valve with the barb on it for coming out of the kettle with your wort into your fermenter. Um, you'll also be able to do the nine programmable steps and the nine programmable um, hop timers and reminders for clarifiers, hop additions, adding your chiller, all that kind of stuff. And you can keep up to 10 recipes from zero to nine that you can return to and brew the same exact thing with consistency each time. So that's the 70 liter systems. They're really great. Just because they're bigger doesn't make them any harder to use. They're really actually the same as a 40 or 50. You just wind up with more beer and it's got a lot of headspace so that you can get a big batch of three 19 liter kegs if you wanted to fill them up and have that little extra bit for the wastage that you're gonna have during fermentation and testing. So check these out, they're really great, fantastic price to get you started with. And as I said, we like them, you guys are gonna like them too. All right, thanks Brewers for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button up here and we'll see you next time. Thanks Brewers.